I'm looking east towards the Rincon Mountains. I'm standing at 11325 East Calle Catalina. That's near Melpamine and um, 22nd Street. I guess what I should say is you take 22nd Street all the way till it dead ends into Melpamine, turn south, and then turn east on Calle Catalina. It's a dirt road. Uh, and it's dirt till you get to the right to the house, and then it becomes blacktop again. This is a huge house. It's four bedrooms, four baths, and um, a huge great room plus a den, and four car garage uh, on at least an acre. I don't know the acreage, <clears throat> and I, I can't tell you what that is standing out here, but it's huge. It's quiet. It's peaceful. That's the neighbor over the hill and beyond the thicket. So we're going to walk up to the front of the house and I'll pan the front of the house. Walk up through the courtyard. through the covered porch entry. This is the entry hall. There are bedrooms there. Great room is beyond here. This is the dining room or den. It's set up as a dining room, but if you did only casual dining, it would make a great den. We'll enter here into the kitchen. You can see it's Lots of countertop, lots of cook space, lots of preparation space, stainless steel appliances. We'll start with the refrigerators. There's two of them. They're kitchen egg. They're side by side, designed that way. Two freezers on the bottom, freezer on the bottom of each, double doors. They open separately. I'll open one. So that's all foods preparation or food saving area. Here's the duplicate of it, and then two pull-out freezers on the bottom. Here we have a small prep sink in the island. We have a smooth top stove top, and it's a Electrolux. We have lots of granite countertop, KitchenAid sink. Double sink sunk in. We'll open the dishwasher. Let you take a look at that. We'll come over here. Here's another prep area. We have double ovens here. We have a kitchen aid microwave and a kitchen aid warmer. While we're here, we'll continue to the garage. I'll let you see the inside of the garage, or I'll happily show you the inside of the garage. There's no step down. Four car garage. Hot water tank, furnace, central vac, water system, water softener system. Pantry is right here. Laundry. We have a duet. And of course it's there on a platform. We have a deep sink there. Plenty of counter and cupboard space. This is one of the bedroom wing halls, the hall doors, but we're going to go back into the great room area first and give you a view of that. And I think I'll go back out into the entry hall and enter the great room from that way. So now we're in the great room area.
You can see the, the wet bar, the fireplace, the kitchen from the other angle. This would make a great formal dining area. I thought I had those lights on. I'll turn them on. There we go. It makes it a little brighter. I have my sunglasses on, so I don't notice it. While we're here, we'll walk down to the two bedrooms. We'll walk to the end bedroom. They're large. They're quite large. Two closets plus shelves for a media center. And here is the bathroom connected here. Shower over a tub, commode. Here is the next bedroom. It's pretty much a mirror image. There is a door to the outside. While we're here, I think I'll go through it. Oh, I forgot to prep that. It's telling us that a door is open. Here's the back of the house. The last person left their barbecue. That's just here. It's not warranted as a barbecue, per se. There you've got the mountains again. You're blocked by a hill from other sounds. That is probably the Catalinas in the distance. I'll close that behind me to keep the bonnets out. Two closets again, flanking the door. Here's your laundry room from this angle. We'll walk through the great room. And there's the door to the patio from the great room. And it is huge. Here's, here's the even better place for a dining area. So this could be a dining area right here. That means the other room could be a den. This could be a TV area over here under the ceiling lights. Recess lighting. While I'm here, we'll go in and we'll look at the master bedroom build in artwork with the shattered glass look on it to give it some artistic integrity. Here's the walk-in closet. Now we're in the master bath. Jacuzzi or spa tub. I don't know if it's a jacuzzi brand, so we'll call it a spa tub. More shelf area. We'll take a look into the shower. Large area for bottles and whatever. Double shower heads, one on a wand. been through the bedroom. Here's a great little office or nursery. There's ceiling fans everywhere. I didn't hold up the camera to look at the fans, but they're great up and down lights, upper and lower lighting, wonderful doors. We're back out into that great room. Look here into the wet bar area. Uh, Looks like a wine cooler there and a mini under, under counter fridge here. We're back to the front door again. That's an oversized door, both height and width. Here we are in the fourth bedroom. Ceiling fan. Closet. In closet. And the fourth bath. This has a shower only. 
and you didn't see any carpeting. So it's all hardwood or tile. This tile appears to be travertine. Yes, it's a travertine. And that's the room that could be a den, it could be a, another dining area. It depends how you want to use the house. And here we are back at the courtyard for the courtyard entry. In our house at 11325 East Calle Catalina at the end of 22nd Street and Melpamine and South.